All right, let's let's see how quickly I can get through this summer house review. Get busy in here, get busy in here. Yeah, my squad run deep. Yeah, we really in here. I swear, whatever you want, you can get it in here. Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here. But you love it in here. Yeah, you love it in here. Got reviews up in here. We got stories in here. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell. Oh, yeah, three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Busy Blue, and I am back with another recap and review. Today, I'm going to be recapping and reviewing Summer House Martha's Vineyard Season 1, Episode 3. I do love this show. Y'all know I love to see black people on my screen. Let's get into it. Um, Before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that you came here. Um, Like the video, share, comment. Talk to me in the videos, um, in the comments. I'm trying to get more content out there. I'm trying to make sure that I'm still here with you guys. Um, and I have some good shows that I'm watching. So um, as long as y'all rock with me, I'll rock with y'all. So um, uh, put in the comments, what do you rate this um, episode? I'm going to give the episode a seven. So let's get into it. So we get back to the house. We have Amir. Okay, so y'all. Amir is so fine to me. It makes it very difficult to watch the show, okay? And I'm going to tell you why it makes it very difficult to watch the show because I want to see him do everything. I just want... If we could just watch him walk around, I would do that, okay? Let's just do that. So he standing up to um, Philip, you know, saying, oh, you think I'm playing? You know, he's still arguing with Philip because Philip, he came in here acting a fool. They separate the girls. Um, we learn in Amir's confessional, like, look, I don't deal with bullies. And I had to deal with bullies when I was younger because I was a Steve Urkel nerd type of dude. Did anybody notice that when he said he was a Steve Urkel nerd type of dude, they panned to Nick? I thought that was kind of rude. Anyway, Silas comes into the room and he's like, look, what happened? And Amir was like, look, he's been bothering everybody since he came into this place. He told him his shirt was me, his shirt was rude. He pooped in this person's thing. He was yelling at this person, and I don't care. Then um, Amir said, if everybody doesn't feel like violence is their thing, that's on them. But I'm here to beat up whoever I need to beat up. I'm a little boy, but my um, my, my fist is mighty. So um, after all of that, everybody's feeling a little riled up. They're feeling a little angry. So then Jasmine comes in. I appreciate you, black man. 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 And Jordan's up saying, she's like, what the hell is going on? Like, what's happening? So Jordan is like, okay, well, look, everybody likes Phil. You know, I like Bria. She's excited for him to come. Shanice has been excited. The girls have been excited for him to come. So what I want to do is I, I want to at least, like, get a chance to talk to him because I think that his energy will be great for the um, trip. What's up, Pam? So she goes down to talk to Philip. He's just insufferable, like seriously. So she's like, um, I just want to know what's going on with you. Like, and he was like, well, what? And she was like, well, first of all, why are you cursing at me? And he was like, well, I, his, I, I pooped in his toilet. And she says, why? Well, because it was my toilet. And she was like, well, he didn't know that. So then she's, he says, um, well, maybe we all should be cussing out Bria and Milo. And if I'm going to be fair, just because we should be cussing out Bria and Milo. I don't like Bria and I don't like Milo. She should not have brought Milo, Milo and I don't like Bria. So he was saying, she said, well, what's Milo got to do with it? He was like, well, Milo peed me off because I had to chase Milo around the house. Have you ever tried to chase that dog? And she was like, no. And he says, well, I put a hundred on it. Boom that you're not going to be able to chase it. And she's like, what are you talking about? So he now goes to trying to chase the dog. What's up, Lily? Trying to chase the dog and put money on it. So then another person comes in and she she's like, I don't understand what's wrong with you. And he was like, well, I don't, I caught you cute in your little outfit. And she was like, oh my God, my day is made. He's called me cute. So now she's like irate. Jasmine comes in and she was like, ladies, and he says, gentlemen, and Jordan says, Gen oh, really? I don't think you um are deserved to be called a gentleman. And he's like, well, what's your problem? You mad because I pooped in uh, Nick's toilet? I and yours too. And she says, do it. 
Go upstairs. It's right upstairs. Now, Jordan was not playing with him. You think that I'm going to say anything? And my thing was, where was Silas? Because he always felt like, well, Jordan is not going to protect you. Do you see this girl right here with this man? Jordan is going to have your wife's back 10 tones down. But you so you so quick to talk about who's going to do what. And a man needs to be a man and he needs to. Do you see Jordan right now? She said, look, I don't care. And you're not going to talk to me. Now you got me mad. Da, 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 da. So then quickly we go to a group vote. Okay, who wants Philip out of the house? Everybody want Philip to leave. They on it. And Jasmine says, well, whoever invited him needs to uninvite him. And you know who invited him? The girl who brings people and dogs and like peoples and things that nobody knows are gonna be coming. But also the young lady who has people extending their stays. And that girl's name is Bria. Okay. So then Bria, because this, I don't care what nobody says, this is the type of person Bria is, and this is why I don't like her. Soon as Bria realized that she's going to have to do something that she don't like to do when she got to her friends, something, she used this as an opportunity. Well, I don't like this. Because if my friend got to leave and I got to tell my friend that my friend got to go, then y'all need to tell Jasmine has to tell Mariah that she has to go. The host. Now, we have dealt with Bria bringing her dog. And not telling nobody. Bringing her ratchet ass friend who is now cussed out and let everybody have it. And now she's bringing her boyfriend who has an extended stay. We got to listen to her. So she's not happy. The girls are like, oh my God, Mariah put her hands on her. And now we got to do something. So they're like, okay, so if. Philip has to leave. Are we saying that um, if Phil has to leave, are we also saying no that Mariah has to leave? And they're like, yeah. So Jasmine's upset, which I would be too. Bria dragging it. She's dragging it. And I don't like her. So after that, Bria goes to tell Phil. He was like, I just got here. Girl, and it has nothing to do with us. Child, that car was outside immediately. Immediately. They'll come and pick him up. So he left. So then Jasmine goes to tell Mariah. And Mariah was like, really? Girl, we have written shows together about us living in our vehicle. You going to kick me out? And you had conversations about me without me? And I will say, the one thing that they did do is give Phil a chance. Everybody went to talk to him. He was insufferable. What I didn't see a lot of people doing outside of like Preston is going to talk to her. She's stressed. She got all this stuff going on. And Bria, who just keeps inviting people and things that are annoying everybody else, one, Milo, two, Philip. they're just going along with what she says. And that's bothering me. But my, now Mariah's getting fed up. She's getting frustrated with everything that's happening. Nobody came to Mariah was like, What's happening? What's going on? Talk to me. Say something to me. And the, I was with Mariah when she says, look, I'm mourning my friendships because as the, the least I, I felt like somebody could have done is talk to me, said something to me. They have all these conversations about me without me. And now I got to go. And I, I did feel like that was unfair. They, uh, Mariah said, they know who I am as a person. My best friend knows the type of person I am. She could have at least talked to me. Who knows? Mariah could have gone up to her and apologized and said something later. She just needed to get over the feelings. Anyway, we get to the next scene. You got Preston, Amir, and Shanice. Shanice is about to take a shower. Then Amir comes up. Oh my God. Amir comes up with no shirt on, big booty. He wanted to take a shower, but Shanice was in there. So he sits down and talks to Preston. Then Shanice comes out. Who was knocking on the door? Okay. She said, who was knocking on the door? You don't got a bathroom? Okay, well, I'll let you have a bathroom when I'm done with the bathroom. So um, they talk They talk to the camera. Like, did y'all see this? And the camera went up and down, broke the fourth wall. But um, 
I will say that I have a lot of friends who are like that. And maybe it's because, you know, I'm not going to sleep with my friends and my friends know that. But they'll be like, busy, what was going on? You need something? And it's like, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I was Because you can take a shower with me if you want to. We can just share the shower. It's like, girl, take your shower. We'll be good. But I think maybe Amir wasn't used to that. Maybe straight men don't have that same type of thing. Anyway, the next day, Amir doesn't feel like um, Mariah should leave. So he goes to talk to Mariah. He's hugging her. Um, but he knows that Bria feels uncomfortable. So Bria is upset now that Phil has to leave. And she feels bad that she had to kick him out. So then she goes outside and she talks to Shanice. And Shanice and Bria call him because Shanice was all up on, you know, Phil's, you know. So they call him, girl, that was a bad idea, okay? It's a bad idea. It's, don't call him, okay? So they call him, and it was like, hey, why don't you just apologize? He said, apologize. Everything I did was funny. Everything I did was top-notch. Television go. Everything was the best, okay? I'm not apologizing for nothing. Y'all need to apologize, okay? And he said, F all of y'all, and he hung up the phone. And so this was like, that's not nice. Same time, Mariah was leaving. She said, don't ask her anything. And she decided that she was going to leave. What's going on, Aaron? After that, um, Amir is moving stuff. I just love Amir doing anything, okay? I love him doing anything. That's my type of man, okay? My problem was, as he was doing all of that stuff, I think it was Jasmine or Bria or Joy. One of the, one of the girls was like, I just love that he's always moving stuff around. He's always moving the dog stuff. He's always moving. I mean, he's always moving a light. He's moving the curtain. And he said, always putting the laundry in different areas that they shouldn't be. That whole fight with Mariah and Bria started because of a beer. And that made me so upset because, one, I didn't realize when the fight happened which definitely means that there was more to what was going on than the dog stuff because none of them both said, like, you put this stuff in here. And I got that hindsight. So now we got Mariah who has to leave because a fight that was started because of somebody else. And Amir was like, I saw the fight happening. So I'm just going to stay out of it. Y'all got it. We just going to stay out of it. We good, okay? So I did not like that. That did make me kind of frustrated, but I'm going to leave it. After that, we get a uh, scene of Alex. Alex is nam yo ho renge curing. He says that he wasn't respecting himself when he was being a floozy when he was younger. So now he's trying not to be as much of a floozy. And he didn't like the way that Shanice came at him and was just being very aggressive and touching him. So he comes down and he's like, look, I need a little bit more personal space. And Shanice's like, personal space? What do you mean? What does that mean? What do you think I'm going to hurt you? You think I'm going to do something to you? You don't need no personal space. And um, after that, they leave out. Shanice is in the car. And she's telling um, everybody that Alex needs personal space. And Jordan was like, well, he should say something in the uh, in the beginning and not wait too long. Literally, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it was fair. We should have called Mariah back after we realized that Amir did it. Anyway, then we get to the boys' car. Amir said that he saw Shanice booze. And it's like, what? He said he didn't do anything because he's really attracted to Jordan. Everybody's attracted to Jordan. Um, what's interesting, though, is that Silas was like, well, I ain't never seen Nick shoot his shot in person. He said he does stuff in the DMs, but I ain't never seen him do anything at all. And Alex was like, I'm just trying to protect Nick because I know what he really got going on. And Nick saying he's not saying nothing. So, but when we go to the beach, is the Inkwell Beach. They give us black history on it that, ooh, excuse me. Um, uh, Amir was really excited about because he said in Texas, Texas, the um, textbooks are really bland. So it was really good to see himself peep or hear about himself in history. Um, so they play their games. I'm not going to go into the games. After the games are done, Amir, he talks to Jordan. He still it does like her. She says she sleeps with her socks on. Put it in the comments if you sleep with your socks on or if you sleep with your socks off. Okay, put that in the comments. Then Shanice tries to talk to Alex. When she talks to Alex, she said, I don't know what this personal space thing is about. What are you trying to tell me? 
Addis is like, look, it was an article that was said. He says this in the confessional. It was an article that was sent to him, and he's like being really weary. Apparently, she was dating some actor, and then they broke up, and she became stalkerish, and she was calling him, and she wouldn't leave him alone. And he had to try to get a chain order against her. Child, y'all saw the friends. They were like, it was all this stuff he was making up. None of it was true. And then Shanice came into the investor. She's like, okay, what's well, so, up? So the some of the stuff was true, but I could they he couldn't get a restraining order against me because we were still talking. So while Alex is trying to push away, like uh, I don't want her near me because if I give her the ill, not you know, give her the, the slang slong, you know, um, she may go crazy over it. She was like, I'm not gonna go crazy. After that, we get back to the house. Um, um, Amir was making food. I love this idea. They said that he was a picky eater, so his mother enrolled him into cooking classes. Okay, because they were talking about macaroni and cheese and what goes in the macaroni and cheese, what doesn't go in the macaroni and cheese, which I thought was weird. Um, but he has culinary experience because he went to cooking school because he was a picky eater, which I loved. So all the people kept um were coming down, the food was ready. So Silas was like, Bay, bay, bay. Um, Tater Bay said that, that sounded like me. I don't know what he's talking about. So then they started separating it into what's a um a, a all female night and what's a guy's night. And uh, Jordan being funny was like, "Well, we know that guys night will be that the fact that she's not staying out till you're not staying out till three o'clock in the morning." He was like, "Well, I thought we let by guys be by guys." She said, "I can still pick on it." And then they started basically talking about how much of a freak, how drunk. Jasmine is, and they were getting Silas riled up so much to the point that um, he was they was like, Well, we could get free drinks, and he was like, No free drinks. And they were like, Why? Well, free drinks, you never know what the expectation is of the man who wants to, you know, give those free drinks, you don't know what they're feeling. And my thing is, Did you not see Jordan and Phil? We can handle this, and any other man who try to say something, we can handle it. So He's getting upset because it seems as if he doesn't know what Jasmine used to be like before they got married. So even if they told the story about one party where they, they were supposed to be going to work, they went to Brooklyn, to the Bronx, and they went everywhere but Manhattan before they got to work, got drunk, they both got fired. So at the end of the day, now they're feeling some type of way. Silas and Jasmine go upstairs. He, has, he wants to have a conversation with her, but she said, not today, sweetie. Um, and then everybody else is downstairs talking about how it's a little weird that they're acting like this. Maybe he doesn't know his wife before then. And then they talk about who likes who. And Nick says he has a girlfriend, which is really weird because he's been in everybody's DM and we've been seeing him since the first two episodes. And he also told Shanice that he wants to marry her. Y'all, that was the quick, easy and dirty. What y'all feel about this episode? I'm about to get off here. I have to go to work in the morning. I just got Oh, and I try to get all of this done. What y'all feel about this? If y'all want to know more about me and everything that's happening, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can also find me on Twitch, Busy Blue. It's definitely streaming right now. I'm about to go get busy, and you all stay busy. Until uh, next time.